Hello, everybody. It's me, Raggedo7 here today. And, uh, see, I promised you I was going to make another video after yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm having a sucker because I'm having a bad day for cravings. And, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm eating suckers. That reminds me, I need to call my doctor. Anyway. Okay. Today's topic is, what would you pay for love? Like, uh, would you join, like, eHarmony or Match.com, Christian Mingle, you know, one of these kind of online things, uh, video dating service, but would you actually pay for love? And, you know, I, uh, got thinking about this because there's this guy, and this is a really funny story. I was on Facebook today. Oh, hi, Jimmy. I was on Facebook today, and, um... This guy, like, obviously cannot read or something, was, like, flirting with me and, and, and just, you know, just being schmoozy. And, um, there she goes. Um, and, like, he didn't even read my profile or any of that. And, like, I have a private profile because I really just don't let anybody in. And, um, unless they know them or they say I'm from YouTube, whatever than I usually do. Uh, same with my friend request on here. I do not accept friend request. No, there are too many freaking trolls. I don't have time to watch everybody's videos like that. So, unless I know you, or you can ask me in the comments, you know, can we be friends? Be nice to me a couple times. I might let you in. Okay. But I do not accept friend requests. I have a few friends, but not all, you know. I did at first, but not anymore. All right, so, um, there she is. So I had this guy sit there, asked me if I was single when it says clearly on my profile, I am not. Um, he asked me this twice in the conversation. I'm like, oh my God. Not only you don't have the brains enough to look at somebody's profile, but you're not reading what I'm saying, right? Annoying. Simply annoying. Alright. So, it goes on and on and on about, um, so I tell him, you know, no, I'm not married, but I live with somebody. Well, do you have children? No. Do you want children? Not really. I'm kind of old for babies. I really can't have children, per se, and I don't really want children, especially a, an infant. Like, really? I mean, yes, people with my disability have had kids, blah, blah, blah. I think that's, uh, I, I, you know what, I'm not going to mention my opinion on that, because it's, it's kind of obvious when you're three foot something and, okay, you get the drift? I'm talking about the actual baby, okay, in there, the belly thing, you know? Then, of course, you get the dumbass question where, oh, uh, can you have sex? Uh, really? Come on. We're all the same in laying down. Uh, so, I'm like going, thank you, God, I am not looking and I'm not single. And, because I just don't think I could stand it. I really don't. The dating game is annoying. And this guy here just made me like, really thankful. And I think that even if I didn't have Matt, I don't even know if I would even bother dating again. Because it's like... I, I guess maybe times have changed with the internet. You know, like, I could do, like, a video dating thing. You know, like, eHarmony. And I could cry about my cat. Now I love my cat. <laughs> what a nut job. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, so I could be like that. And I don't want to... I don't know. Then they could see me. They can understand my deal. And, you know, I don't uh, have a whole lot of explaining to do. And, you know, I can just tell them the basics. And, you know, once they get to know me, a thing will come up or whatever. And, but, you know, it's hard to convince people when you first meet them that no matter how big you are, you're still a woman. 
and no matter what, you know, it's, how do I explain this? Even though I'm in a wheelchair, it does not mean I'm slow. It does not mean I'm stupid. It does not mean that um, I don't have talents and, and, and things that do not revolve around my disability. And there's a lot of people that uh, let that get, like, in front of them. You know, and, and it, it's really sad because there's so much more to life than, than being disabled. I mean, especially if you have a good mind, which, thank you, God, Jesus, and everybody up there for giving me a good mind. And, you know, the, like I see people with my, my disability, and they want to limit themselves to everything that they do, and they want to cry about everything they do, and it's, it's pathetic. It's just... It's pathetic. Uh, no able body guy or, or girls gonna ever want me and that that's bull crap. Absolute bull crap. Why why would you wanna limit your life? I don't get it. I've dated disabled people and um, to be honest with you it's not my cup of tea. Um, not because of the limitations. It, it's called uh, a matter of being competent. You have your disabled people who are overly confident. Mr. I can do anything, you know, and I'm Mr. Happy Ass 24-7. And then you got the ones where nobody likes me. I have to make up for, for you know, because I'm disabled. And, like, I'm just going to be an asshole to everybody. Which, they're a lot like that. A lot of people like that. And, you know, that's just insecurity and making up for things that they think that they lack on, and that's just not the case because you're all human beings, right? We're all built the same in regardless. And um, we have souls, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, so, you know, it's like, wow, it's such a different world now. It is. I mean, I can remember it's like, oh my God, I have to go to the nightclub tonight, maybe I'll find my knight in shining armor, you know, and he's going to be riding a white horse on the dance floor, yeah, there he goes, okay, this doesn't happen in real life, and you're not going to find, like, obviously people have found some, you know, wonderful guy on a white horse on the harmony but it's like 60 bucks, and let's face it, the average person nowadays doesn't have $60 to piss away. Unless, of course, they're retired and, you know, they've got money, which you know, quite a few people on retirement do. Some of them don't. I won't. Actually, I'm technically speaking, I am retired and I don't have a pot to piss in. And that's another thing, too, is money when you're dating. Um, you know, you're not wealthy. You're not employed. Uh, that, that's going to put your limits down, too. So, um, wow, this is pretty uh, positive go-get thing. Well, I'm just, I guess what I want to say is that if you were truly meant to be with somebody, um, I think that you'll find them. I think that um, there is somebody for everybody. And uh, whether it's a forever thing, at least somebody gets to experience love at one point in their life. And... That's the beauty of it all. You know, if, like I said, if something ever happened to Matt and I, and I didn't find anybody, at least I had the experience to be able to love someone. And I've loved several people. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, but you know what I mean. And it's, um, but yeah. So what would you do for love? Would you pay money for it? Would you blindly go to somebody's profile? Like, that happened to me today, you know, what would you do? Let me know. I'm curious. All right. Love you guys. Peace be with you. And live your life to the fullest. It's the only one you got.